First step is to make a drawing that is impossible to yassify. Okay, okay. Let's just draw her eyes real quick. It's already starting to come together. And then she'll have a big smile and ears. And she looks like one of those Korean reaction memes. This looks like my art when I was 12. Perfect. Let's color real fast. I'm gonna choose this repulsive purple. It's giving Barney's piss. And then let's give her an off-shoulder top. And the cherry on top. We're gonna use an airbrush to add some crappy light. Because a lot of y'all beginners do this. Alright. This is as bad as it gets, okay? Even and I don't know how I'm gonna yassify this. Anyway, let's try to find some potential artists to do the job. So I'm on this art commission platform called Artistry, and there are surprisingly a lot of talented people out here. Oh wait, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell. Yes, of course. What did I expect? Is that is that a yassified opossum? Anyway, so this is our first pick. Kuvag the potato duck obsessed artist. Hello, beautiful peeps. Interested to commission? Why do you talk like this? Ooh, so this guy has very juicy art. So they have a bunch of options, but since I'm broke, let's just go with a $15 to $25 headshots. Kuvag will not accept requests with gore, mecha, not safe for work, furry, dark art, weird kinks. Bro, what kind of people are commissioning you for you to add all of these. So I'm just gonna go with an alias. Uh-huh. Jumin Han lover. Anyway, we apparently need to describe the commission. So I basically just told him, yassified, please. So let's just drag and drop our badly drawn reference image. And there we go. Now we have to wait. So while we're waiting, let's commission other people. This time I'm gonna give them a slightly different reference. It's still gonna be the same character, but this time it's not just the head. So uh, she's gonna have a hand. And uh, yeah, still the same girl's color palette. I'm low-key sabotaging them with this magenta color. Okay, this is too plain. So I'm just gonna put here, add accessories. So next artist, please. Ooh, this looks really nice. This is kind of similar to my art style, but obviously my lips are juicier. So this is Bread Muncher 222. Wow, they must like bread a lot. So obviously I'm gonna select the bust option. This is 8 to 15 Canadian dollars. Bread Muncher 222 will not accept requests with mecha furries. Old people Wow, okay, old people. Bro, what did old people do to you? Okay, what if they wanted you to paint their dead grandpa? What are you gonna do? Decline them? I mean, I kinda would too. So anyway, let's add $2 for a prop. And then let's drag and drop our art. Alright, two out of three. Last one. So this guy is Art of Z99. Hello, I am Zaid. I'm a freelance illustrator and an art teacher. I love draw and I did it every day. So this is what his art looks like. Wow, he really does love draw. He has so many drawings, bro. Dang. Look at how well he drew this handsome, bald Kim jong -gi. That's how you know someone's good at art, if they draw bald people well. So yeah, his commissions cost $35 to $50. So again, let's just drag and drop our commission. Okay, okay, now we have commissioned three people and I'm about to go broke. So here is the summary, but that's not all. I am also gonna commission myself, for free of course. Hashtag slave labor. So while we're waiting for the drawings, I'm gonna show you my own Yassified version. And that means she's gonna to look a lot more emo than she already looks right now. First, let me sketch her out. I'm gonna make her have a big smile, and then let's make her hair messy. And overall, I'll just make her more emo. Okay, so this is our sketch. So, let's start painting over. I use very desaturated colors, and as for that hair, what is that? Princess Bubblegum? Nope. Instead, we're gonna use a light millennial pink. Bro, I just straight up drained the happiness out of that drawing. Anyway, let's just render real quick, starting with the eyes. Use an airbrush to blur the edges, and now let's copy and paste. Guys, I legit don't know how to draw a smile. She just looks like she's about to have a stroke. So far, she looks muddy ass. So let's make her hair less crappy. And then, since she looks like she has dead person makeup, let's add some life back into her. And now let's put some definition on her hair. To be honest, guys, I don't like her bangs. She looks like a hentai protagonist. So let's remove it real quick and add this awkward strand instead. Wow, good thinking, Colleen. So far, she looks like a vampire. That's excellent. I'm gonna make her more emo by adding this dog collar. Let's make her hair darker because it looks so far from the original. I'm just using this multiply layer to do this and voila! She looks more vampire now. Okay, so now I did the clothes and I gave her big booba just because. Now let us draw the hands. The hands are really basic. First, just draw the silhouette like this and then change it to her skin color and let's just shade it real quick. Add a sleeve. Her arm looks dislocated out but I don't get paid enough to even bother. Her hair looks dry out so let's just curl it like this. Okay, now it's time to do the details. So first I'm gonna 
gonna use this chain brush and just put it around her neckline another one. and then let's add the collar and as if it couldn't get edgier enough let's add these spikes i'm gonna render these individually like so so much effort for that but when you zoom out you can't even see the details her face looks too big for her body she looks 12 so let's make it smaller with liquify i'm also gonna add some orange soft light and airbrush it around her skin let's add the lashes back on i already added it a while ago but you need to retouch it all the time so let's add some blue light to the side like so and then i'm gonna add this edgelord pin let's put a little skull over here it's giving daddy issues and then let's add some ear piercings and just duplicate it right so one more thing let's add another hair clip it's a cute little star to balance out the emo-ness last but not the least the background so i don't know how i'm gonna do the background without making it look corny i'm trying to use orange because it complements with her hair but it kind of sucks green is also really corny so let's just make the background dark i'm gonna use this don yori brush to add some i don't know what this is it just looks aesthetic okay and then some cute little sparkles okay so she isn't blending in with the background so what i'm gonna do is make her darker using this purple color and boom look at that it brought out the juicy glitters of her eyes so yeah this is the original unyasified sketch versus the yasified sketch cooling version now let us see their submissions first we got kavak okay let's open their final submission all right um first off you took away every bit of emotion out of her like what happened to her smile you took away her joy well that's exactly what i did too so who am i to judge well that's okay i love the juicy lips 10 out of 10 also really love the eyes they're so detailed and sparkly the color theory is color theorying but i'm low-key disappointed in you for not making the ears ginormous like in the sketch understandable but it would have been so cute man anyway in total this was 15 dollars honestly did not expect the dramatic lighting but i did tell them that they had full liberty so it's still gucci okay next we got bread muncher 222 let's open it real quick all right first off this looks like tiktok art and not even in a bad way the art it just gives me chronically online artist vibes like you are definitely a 14 year old tiktok ibis paint artist but despite that i really dig this style it's just simple but it's still cute okay but when you compare it to the initial sketch they sent me she gave her these popcorn earrings where is it now why did you remove it also when you compare it to my version this is like when my oc was a child eyes full of innocence and then this is her now as a grown-up eyes full of seduction she's also even more emo than ever and um she also got lip fillers anyway this was 10 canadian dollar which is apparently 7.48 bro that is like dirt cheap that is like your budget for mcdonald's stop doing that anyway now we have art of z okay well you kept the hentai protagonist bangs just like everybody else which is cool anyway first off just at first glance it looks pro av his drawing is the most yasified one out there i mean look at this bro completely transformed the original don't get me wrong i really love the butterfly detail you added here but you did not have to add these these look like transparent butterfly png clip art well the hair is pretty fine but what the heck is this purple streak man so the only thing i didn't like was the eyebrows and the lips the eyebrows look like she was trying to shave them off but gave up halfway and as for the lips it just looks gray af not gonna lie so this was 50 dollars this was the most expensive one but also the most professional one overall verdict overall i really like how almost every artist just straight up ignored the open smile including myself you can see how different these artists think like i gave them the same crappy sketch to yasify and they all had a very different approach but if you were to ask me what i like the most it's this one purely from personal taste okay yes the other two have more technical skill but this is like a profile picture material i would use this as my twitter icon on my account that i use to retweet whimper audios now this is more for game concept part i would say and this looks like Genshin fan art. Anyway, I'm literally the only one who went down the edgy route. Also, I should have just made her facing front to be more accurate with the comparison, but whatever. Anyway, which one do you guys prefer? I put their links in the description if you're interested in commissioning them. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please like the video and subscribe. Stay cool.